Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be going over how to read from a file in MIPS assembly using the Mars de development tool. So um, before we get started, again, this is a continuation from my other video on writing to a file. So I recommend you watch that one first because I go go over the, the relevant syscalls um, that are used in this one, in this program and video in detail there. So please go check that out in my playlist. But otherwise, let's get started. So as a brief review, syscall 13 is used for opening a file. Syscall 15 is used for writing to a file. And syscall 16 is used for closing a file. So now our, our new syscall is going to be 14. So read from a file is syscall 14. And it takes in three similar arguments to syscall 15, write to file. So A0 is the file descriptor of the file we want to read from. Syscall, I'm sorry, uh, register A1 is used to store the address of the input buffer. And then register A2, um, or argument 2, is, is the maximum number of characters to read. And thus, V0, um, register V0, contains the number of characters read. Um, 0 if it's the end of file, and negative if there's an error. So let's take a look at our example program. Um, the file opening is real similar to um, the the write, writing to a file program. But again, I'll just quickly go over it. Um, we're going to store the syscall um, load immediate value of 13 to v0. We're going to load the address of the file name. Then we're going to flag for, we're going to pass in the flag for read mode. And then, then we're going to perform the syscall. At that point, we, we want to make sure that register v0 is uh, not overridden. Um, uh, so we need to save it because it's going to be used in syscall 14 for re reading from file, syscall 4 for reading data, or for printing re read data, and then 16 for closing the file, and then exiting program for 10. So you always need to save your v0 onto either a temporary variable or just the stack. So next is uh, where the, the reading happens. So um, as you can see here, we have, we're loading immediate, the we're loading immediate value 14 into register v0. Um, we're also moving register t0, which is the former v0 into um, A0 as it is file, disc file descriptor. Next, we're loading the buffer address to store the red de data. And then we are loading an immediate value of 20 into A2, which is the maximum number of bytes to read. And then we're going to call the, we're going to perform the syscall. Next, once we once we have that, we're going to uh, store. Um, we're going to store load immediate value of four into v zero, and then we're going to store the uh, address of the buffer into a zero, and then we're going to perform that syscall. Um, next, we're going to close the file by using syscall sixteen and pass again the file descriptor. And then finally, we are going to exit the program. So I know you obviously need to have the input.txt file created and with something in it. So for here, I, I have it shared. Um, my input.txt file just says hello world. And then I'm going to go back here in Mars. And I'm going to assemble and run the program. So as you can see, it prints out hello world, and then the program ends. 
So note, um, I was only reading 20, um, 20 bytes from the input uh, the text file. So if I if I just repeat hello world a few times and save it, let's let's see what happens um, when I assemble run it again. So that's assemble and run. As you can see here, it only reads the 20 bytes. So the the fix that, let me just change it to 100, max number of bytes to read, the 200. Let's assemble, and let's run it again. So now it prints out everything. So I hope this video was informative. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment, and I'd be happy to help you or make another video. Um, otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.